Reading from the Hallelujah Scriptures, Lucas, Luke, part 11. And it came to be, while he was praying in a certain place, as he seized, one of his Talmudim said to him, Adonai, teach us to pray. And Johanan also taught his Talmudim. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father in the Shamayim, let your name be Kodesh, let your reign come, let your desire be done on earth as it is in the Shamayim. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. And do not lead us into trial, but rescue us from the wicked one. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend? And go to him at midnight, and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, since a friend of mine has come to me on this journey, and I have knelt to put before him. Then the one inside answering says, Do not trouble me, the door is already locked, and my children with me are in bed. I am unable to get up and give to you. I say to you, if he does not get up and give to him because he is his friend, he shall get up and give to him as many as he needs because of his persistence. And I say to you, ask and it shall be given to you, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened to you. For everyone asking receives, and he who is seeking finds, and to him who is knocking it shall be opened. And what father among you, whose son asks for bread, shall give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, shall give him a snake instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, shall give him a scorpion? If you then, being wicked, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more shall your father from Shamayim give the Ruach HaKodesh to those asking him? And he was casting out a demon, and it was dumb, and it came to be, when the demon had gone out, that the dumb spoke, and the crowds marvelled. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebul, and the ruler of the demons, the ruler of the demons, and others trying, were seeking from him a sign from the Shamayim, and he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every rain divided against itself is laid waste, and a house against a house falls. So if Satan also is divided against himself, how shall his reign stand? Because you say I cast out demons by Beelzebul. Now if I cast out demons by Beelzebul, by whom do your sons cast them out? Because of this they shall be your judges. But if I cast out demons by the finger of Elohim, then the reign of Elohim has come upon you, when a strong man, having been well armed, watches over his own court, his possessions are in peace. But when a stronger than he comes upon him and overcomes him, he takes from him all his armour in which he trusted and divides his booty. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. When the unclean spirit goes out of a man, he goes through dry places seeking rest and finding none. He says, I shall return to my house from which I came, and when he comes he finds it swept and decorated. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they enter and dwell there. And the last of that man becomes worse than the first. And it came to be, as he was saying this, a certain woman from the crowd raised her voice and said to him, Baruch is the womb that bore you, and the breasts which you nursed on. But he said, Baruch rather are those hearing the word of Yahweh and keeping it. And while the crowds were thronging, he began to say, This generation is wicked, it seeks a sign, 
and no sign shall be given to it except the sign of Yonah the Navi. For as Yonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so also the bane of Adam shall be to this generation. The sovereigness of the south shall rise up in the judgment with the men of this generation, and shall condemn them, for she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Shalomor. And look, a greater than Shalomor is here. The men of Nineveh shall rise up in the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Yonah. And look, a greater than Yonah is here. And no one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a hidden place or under a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in shall see the light. The lamp of the, boot of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, all your body also is enlightened. But when your eye is evil, your body also is darkened. See to it. Therefore, that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then all your body is enlightened, having no part dark, all shall be enlightened as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. And as he spoke, a certain Pharisee asked him to dine with him. So he went in and sat down to eat. And when the Pharisee saw it, he marvelled that he did not first wash before dinner. And the Adon said to him, Now you Pharisees make the outside of the cup and dish clean, but your inward part is filled with greed and wickedness. Mindless ones, did not he who made the outside make the inside also? But he gives in kindness. But give in kindness of that which is within. And see, all are clean to you. But woe to you, Pharisees, because you tithe the mint and the rue, and every plant, and passed by the right ruling, and the love of Elohim. These you should have done, without leaving the others undone. Woe to you Pharisees, because you love the best seats in the congregations, and the greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you are like the unseen tombs, and the men walking over them do not know. And one of those learned in the Torah answering said to him, Teacher, when you say this, you insult us too. And he said, Woe to you also, you learned in the Torah, because you load men with burdens hard to bear, and you, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you, because you build the tombs of the Nevi'im, and your fathers killed them. So you bear witness that you approve of the works of your fathers, because they indeed killed them, and you build their tombs. And because of this, the wisdom of Elohim said, I shall send them Nevi'im and emissaries, and some of them they shall kill and persecute, so that the blood of all the Nevi'im, which was shed from the foundation of the world, shall be required of this generation. From the blood of Hevel to the blood of Zachariah, who perished between the altar and the Mishkan, yes, I say to you, it shall be required at this generation Woe to you, learned in the Torah, because you took away the key of knowledge. You did not enter in yourselves, and those who were entering in you hindered. And he was saying, and as he was saying this to them, the scribes and the Pharisees began to oppose him fiercely, and to draw him out on many subjects watching him and seeking to catch somewhat from his mouth, so as to accuse him. Amen.